the arts reflect the soul, the spirit of a people. Architecture reflects the soul, the spirit of a people. And so therefore you can see the degeneracy, you can see the degradation, the dilapidation of culture in that culture's art and the loss of aesthetics, the, the loss of the idea of there being harmony, order, symmetry in aesthetics is connected with the loss of a coherent worldview and philosophy. A lot of people think that Marxism was a big part of how the arts became self-destructive and toxic. There's Partly some truth to this, Marxism, in terms of the uh, cultural Marxists, they were con uh, consulting, they were con uh, involved in consultation with the OSS. Right? We've, we've covered this many times, the Frankfurt School people, uh, on how to fight fascism. You look at things like the, um, the Frankfurt School putting out the authoritarian personality book, right? But they also did a lot of commentary that dealt with the arts and how the arts could be used as a tool for social engineering. Now, it, it, at the same time, the CIA was interested in, after the OSS, the CIA was interested in utilizing aesthetics in a more scientific way to culturally engineer. And so as I covered in my book, my second book, CIA even to the point of recruiting French snobby intellectuals, right? Yes, deconstructionists, literally, working with the CIA. <laughs> oh, the CIA, we are the French. Everything is nothing. Everything is nothing. I will beat you on the head with my baguette while I eat the quantum loop. Quantum loop. But everything is not nothing. But if you can promote the idea that everything is nothing in the arts, well, then you've got a nice little toxic weapon, don't you? Now, I wanted to make it a video on this for a while, but I want to stress that the abstract slash modern art movement is 100% fully a CIA funded thing. And if you doubt me on that, you think that's a conspiracy theory, go read this book, which is a great book by Francis Stoner Saunders, The Cultural Cold War. And there's a whole chapter on Jackson Pollock, on C.D. Jackson, on uh, all of our favorite guys that we all know about as pioneers in these different art movements, all to some degree aided by uh, aspects or fronts of the CIA, right? The Congress for Cultural Freedom, CCF, one of these things, um, they, would, they would fund all kinds of these wacky experimental, you could say, quote unquote, arts. So that's well known. And not only that, you can see this article has covered this topic before that the CIA is behind modern abstract art. But I just want to talk about on a, on a intuitive gut level, how much of a scam this world is too, at the same time, the modern art world. Now I've talked to a few people over the years, some crazy boomer woman one time who was telling me about how she knows all these artists who did voodoo <laughs> curses on their artwork, which I don't know whether to believe her or whether or not. I mean, it could go either way. She was just as ridiculous as the claim. And so I could see the claim being true or I could see her being that ridiculous. But in terms of that new Jake Gyllenhaal movie, Velvet Buzzsaw, that's kind of the plot of Velvet Buzzsaw, right? Gross abstract art. That is cursed. <laughs> what in the world? Everybody's going crazy. Like this world is going completely insane. St. Anthony is correct. But look at this. Okay. I think this is a Picasso. I don't understand. I've never understood why anybody. I almost went to art school, by the way. I don't understand why anybody would ever find anything interesting in Picasso. Picasso was a Marxist. Not even really faulting him for being a Marxist per se, but... I mean, these phases of cubism, and it's just utterly retardo. I mean, look at this stuff. Look at this blue dude. Ridiculous. 
I mean, it's it, it's it's telling. I think that they're almost like they're competing to see who has the most ridiculous level of art that's the most childlike that can be passed off as some kind of big sort of scam. Right? I remember one time there was a video I watched of MoMA, which is, this is like the epicenter of all this stupid nonsense. I've been to MoMA, by the way. It's pretty hilarious. And you go, <laughs> it has uh, uh, Yoko. <laughs> oh, Yoko had like a trail of trash that went from the inside of MoMA. <laughs> Literally going out into the street. I'm pretty sure it was Yoko. It had to be Yoko. Who else would come up with something so loco? But Yoko. Trail of trash going out into the street. What? But I guess if you're Yoko and you're loco, you can do that, right? You can get away with that. Or if you're Jean-Claude Picasso, Jean-Luc Picasso, Picard. I'm, I'm thinking of Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> You can get away with it because of what you're famous, I guess. I think he was bagging a bunch of hoes too, wasn't he? Wasn't he just kind of hoeing around? Um, so this is his picturesque image of one of his night thoughts, one of his night hoes, as you can see. Presumably that's what's going on here. Uh, or is it Adam and Eve? There's a tree with fruit. She's giving him an apple. Um, and, the, and this is like the fall from, this is the fall from normalcy and high IQ into a state of post-lapsarian retardation is actually what this piece is about. Here's another piece with uh, your grandma. Granny's basically being scammed into uh, a screwed up Target logo, right? So here's a box, grandma tripping out. She doesn't know what to do, but this piece is probably a million dollars, right? Uh, I can't imagine. I mean, how can this woman... She has to be, you know, what, 70, 80? Did she not remember a time when she could go down to the saloon and there were better artworks in the saloon, perhaps, even, in her day? Look at this piece of trash. This is looks like some sort of implement device for contraception of some kind some kind of diaphragm style carving no telling what this piece of crap went for it says it is a modern he head of cycladic greek idol it's in a cycladic greek idol or is it a female birth control apparatus of some sort look at this piece of crap this is um this reminds me of the murals that you see when you drive through the ghetto and you see like people, what people think is supposed to be like a positive uh, affirmation of life in the ghetto. You know what I mean? If you've ever been to, if you like Nashville has all these now where you drive around, and you see these ridiculous murals. This is one of those, but it's like if, if you were a puppy dog in the ghetto and somebody slipped you a bunch of LDS tabs, Right, so it's the puppy trip, because that's a puppy, right? And he's creeping him on a couple, p u s s i e s, looking for a little bit of action tonight, right? So he's gonna have a menage, a puppy trio, while he's on them LDS tabs in the ghetto. So look, I mean, this is ridiculous. Who in their right mind thinks that this stuff is beautiful here? just gibberish gibberish on a canvas how can i translate gibberish mania and nonsense into quote art right here and again these are all famous pieces i'm telling you oh, i looked this up i looked up like most famous cost the most uh, modern abstract art and this is the crap that comes up here this looks like a, a nine inch nails album cover like <laughs> somebody Somebody had, you know, their period listening to Nine Inch Nails and it spilled on the CD cover and uh, now they decided that was a piece of art, right? This, what is this? This looks like, again, uh, let's see, somebody's name in here. I can't, can't read. They can't even do 
damn cursive. They're trying to paint. You can't even do cursive. Trying to paint. Son, go home. You, you're not going to make it. Actually, you will make it as an artist. You will. You have made it as an artist. I literally think they're competing to see who can be the most ridiculous. And then there was one more that was supposed to be like a bunch of money. I had one that was a comparison of like millions. Here it is. So this one, $15.3 million. And I bet you literally it was a kid scribbling. I know people make that dumb joke about abstract modern art. This looks like my kid's damn scribble. Why don't I show that for a million dollars? Actually, yes, this guy is selling. A kid. I guarantee you they're trying to see who can pass off the most scammy piece of scammery, right? And the same for Frank Lloyd, right? Modern abstract art is fake and gay. <laughs> And I think I've proven it here in this video. So this is part of tox toxic cultural manipulation. And by the way, it's on purpose. That's what people don't understand. It's not just a scam racket. It's not a bunch of witches trying to put their menstrual fluids on it to create a curse, which they do that. Remember that chick that was vomiting on canvases? We covered her last year. Remember her? That one up on the canvas. It's also social engineering because the CIA is literally who funded all this experimental, like moving off in that direction back in the 60s, proven definitively in this academic work. This is not a conspiracy book, academic work. And my theory, check this out. My theory is that a lot of this stuff is also spiritual. I remember a few years ago, I was looking through an art magazine. My son's got to go to art school. He's leaving in three days. And the TV's an Esperanto. You know that that's a bitch. Calls alienation. I know. I had to bust into They Might Be Giants. Right? <laughs> Every now, anytime I think. That's how... My mind is like the stream of consciousness, you see. That's why people say, you ramble in your videos. That's how my mind works, bro. The stream of consciousness. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, look out. This uh, awesome mural. Isn't that cool? <laughs> what were we talking about? We were talking about the magazine. So I was looking at this magazine and I was thinking about the spiritual realm and how if you do art, which I used to do a lot of art, I almost went to art school back in the day. If you do that, then you know that like you get sort of inspiration from things like dreams or you get inspiration from your imagination throughout the day. Images come to you. right? It's kind of, so you get that inspirational thing going, right? So I started thinking this, this comes from the inner realm, the spirit, the mind, the soul, which is connected to the spiritual realm, right? And so you can receive influences through that realm. So I started looking through not the abstract, ridiculous scam stuff like, we, like we've been looking at, but just more uh, actually pretty talented stuff. Right? You know, like people that have done a lot of uh, talented stuff, who, people who have actual talent who've done what. But and it was all so dark. And I remembered my ex-girlfriend back in the day. Her sister was getting a master's in art from Vanderbilt and she did the same stuff. She would like make wombs and it was like a giant womb with nails all in the, in the inside. So you walked into a giant womb and it was all nails everywhere. I was like, this is crazy. This is demonic. <laughs> what? And then I started looking through the, these art magazines and look at some of the stuff. Look at the, it's almost like it's demonic pretty clearly. It's like people are seeing visions of like complete isolation, complete loneliness, alienation. And I think actually spirits and demons at times. Um, again, you think back to like the art of Man Ray, right? That's why a lot of people have linked Man Ray to uh, uh, the uh, Black Dahlia situation probably. So anyway, that's a, a brief analysis. Uh, like take a look at that as an example I'm talking about. Take a look at that. A few more. 
you can see this kind of stuff going on. Um, anyway, that's my take. I think that the arts just don't just relate to social engineering. They don't just relate to scams. There's also a spiritual aspect to this where we see the spirit of a people, the soul of a people, of a, of a culture, of a society, of a city, of a civilization, clearly reflect, reflected in the really dark, uh, just hideous sort of degenerate art. This is Jay Dyer from Jay's Analysis. If you like this analysis, please subscribe below, click the bell, share this with everybody else that you know, and I will love you.